Yes, this exercise is to uh, talk about the rules for the short muzzle attack for the protection canine scenario. The main uh, points here are that number one, it's going to be a defensive muzzle attack, not an offensive muzzle attack like in the urban canine for police work. So it's also going to be a different scenario every trial. The judge is going to de uh, uh, design a different scenario. Uh, for the decoy, the decoy has no weapons in this exercise. He doesn't have a, a baton, he doesn't have a bottle with rocks, and he doesn't have a gun. Now, he does have a hidden sleeve. Um, in this exercise, the, the judge will, as in, in the short attack, uh, the judge will tell the handler, will give the judge's commands on when to start the exercise, to the handler, when to uh, ask his dog to guard, and when to go pick up the dog. And then he'll wait till the, the, the judge tells him when the exercise is over. On the decoys then, the judge will tell him when to start working. And pretty much, he has to know that it's gonna be a 20 second, uh, the, the, the canine has to show that he can engage and protect his handler for 20 seconds with a muzzle attack. After the 20 second muzzle attack expires, the judge is gonna uh, ask the, the, the handler to ask his dog to, do a, to execute a guard with a muzzle. The dog is gonna execute a guard, and then the judge is gonna ask him to either go pick up the dog and heal him away, or to recall him back to him. And once the dog is within a yard and come to a complete stop, the judge will signal the exercise is over. Now, there's another rule here. Uh, it's totally unsafe to work dogs in the muzzle without a, without a, a leash. So we're gonna have a, a prong collar with a three foot tab. And the, the handler is not allowed to touch the prong collar or the, or the three foot tab. It is just there in case that the muzzle comes off as a safety precaution. If, in, in any event, the muzzle comes off while the, uh, the dog is, being, uh, is, is fighting, muzzle fighting the decoy, the handler can go and grab the, the tab and control his dog right away so that the decoy won't get bit. Also, the decoy is going to have a hidden sleeve just in case the muzzle does come off, he can also protect himself. So we're going to demo now how this is going to look. This is going to be one scenario and many scenarios that are going to be designed by the judge in every trial. In this scenario, we're going to have the handler standing with his canine. The decoy is going to uh, start threatening the canine and then the handler is going to tell the, the the, the decoy to stop coming closer or else he's going to send his dog. Let's start this scenario. The judge is going to signal to the to the, the decoy to come start working. Hey, give me your money. I don't have any money. I'm going to come take it. No, you're not. X, attack! The decoy is being attacked by the dog for 20 seconds. 20 seconds has elapsed, the judge is going to ask the, the, the handler to tell, tell his dog to execute a guard. And X out, guard! The dog is guarding. The judge is going to ask the handler to either pick up his dog or call him back to him. X, the meeting! The dog came back, stood next to the handler or in front of him or within a yard. The judge is going to say, end of exercise. That's one scenario. Another scenario is where the handler has the option to go pick him up. The judge tells him, uh, gives him the signal to go pick up his dog or to call him back. So he's going to go pick him up because he starts walking out. The dog is on a down position here. The Nico could be on the ground or could be standing up. Stands next to him, does an X, come out there. Heals his dog away. The judge is going to tell him exercise over. The canine team passed the exercise of the short muzzle attack.